field for the Vodafone New Zealand Derby 2019. We're set to go, this is it, let's bring it on. They're racing in the derby. One of the first away, cut a deal towards the outside. Going forward is surely Sacred closer in. Right with them as well as they work over towards the, uh, th by the 300 metres on their first occasion. Out wide on the track, Bobby D. Going with them also, Arrogant. Swords drawn is right there and closer in, Crown Prosecutor. Over on the inside of these, next is Sir Nate as they jockey for positions down by the 150 metres on their first occasion. SpongeBob is just in behind the leaders and pushing forward out wide. Lincoln Falls, four wide as they go past the judge. The chosen one is right there with Bobby D. Getting back midfield on the inside. Tolmac as they work up the rise. Looking to get across, although caught out three wide. Priest of Fur in the centre is surely sacred and Vernon Meave on the inside. Then now three wide with cover is in a twinkling. Followed back in the field by uh, Nobu who's back about fourth or fifth last. Then cut a deal. Back with it also Platinum Invader in the last pair. Uh, more Wonder and uh, Botty. Into the back they go. 1,400 metres out from home. Spread out over a good dozen lengths here, and the pace maker is Lincoln Falls. Leads by one and a half. Um, in second spot, Bobby D. Two lengths away. Arrogant is third, and then Crown Prosecutor fourth, followed by Swords Drawn. Then came Priest of Fur over on the outside, next of a Sir Nate. As they climb the rise by the 1100, Tolmac is next from the chosen one. Back in behind those next, then looking to go forward in a twinkling, follows a stable mate forward at the 1,000 metres. And then came Vernon Mee, out wide Botty in that group also now we've got uh, looking to go for surely sacred the favorite got a shuffle up there went well back nobu's well back cut a deal works round on the outside uh, back near the tail is more wonder with platinum invader in that rear group as well as they work down the side they pack up in the derby as they head to the 600 meters mark there's about a dozen lengths from first to last and the pace maker is lincoln falls from on the outside bobby d arrogant is right there uh, then followed in behind these by crown prosecutor there's some of them are scouting very wide, including the, the uh, favourite truly sacred. Now Cutadier looks to run on as well. 300 metres to go. In a twinkling ranged up. Surely sacred down the outside. Crown Prosecutor closer in. Still there is Arrogant as they get to the 150. Crown Prosecutor in a twinkling. Surely sacred is coming after them. But it's Crown Prosecutor in in a twinkling fighting out the derby. Crown Prosecutor in a twinkling. Crown Prosecutor. Stephen Marsh gets the derby. Crown Prosecutor won it second over. Was in a twinkling fight for third, Platinum Invader and Arrogant. Right there also Tolmac, Bobby D, Shirley Sacred, Swords Drawn, uh, then followed over by Cutter, Deal, Vernon Me, Priest of Fur, further back in the field then as they went across uh, would have been Sir Nate uh, with those as well was the chosen one, SpongeBob well back towards the tail, Lincoln Falls more wonder, Botty and Nobu were well back as well his father did it a few years ago now with Hale and now Stephen Marsh has trained the winner of the Vodafone New Zealand Derby and Craig Grills just back from Singapore and they've combined to win the Derby with the son of Medaglia Doro Crown Prosecutor in the twinkling tried hard Arrogant was there Platinum Invaders arrived late with Shirley Sacred but at the post Crown Prosecutor kept giving in the colours of Lip Patania in a twinkling, was trying hard for Glenn Boss, but at the line, Crown Prosecutor will just beat in a twinkling. Platinum Invader will be third, and then Arrogant and Surely Sacred. In an upset in the Vodafone New Zealand derby, Crown Prosecutor wins for Stephen Marsh and Craig Grills and is posted at a price at $105. Crown Prosecutor holds out the challenge from Glenn Boss and in a twinkling, and right there as well was Platinum Invader, who was finishing hard late with Arrogant as well. It's Emily Bosson to you with Craig Grills. Thanks, Brendan. It's awesome. Every, all the other jockeys are giving you congratulations. What is this feeling like? How, how are you coping right now? Uh, the emotions are pretty high, Emily. It's, um, like, oh, like, you know, he's won a stakes race before, but his form wasn't the greatest coming into it. So he's been a little bit off the boil. But, you know, I've seen him and his team have obviously done a great job. And, Oh, I couldn't believe it. Talk, talk me through the run. Talk me through what you were thinking as you jumped out and then how things worked out. Well, he jumped quite good. The plan was to go forward, but geez, he was green down the straight the first time. He tried to duck out about two times down the straight, and he was good when he got a bit of cover, and they didn't go overly hard, but, um, you know, turning, turning in, he just travelled up underneath me, and 
I was able to get off the fence and he just kept grinding away. So It must have been a dream when he was travelling and you were thinking, oh my gosh, I'm a chance here. Yeah, well, it, and I, I sort of couldn't really see anything coming up. I saw the Tiaki horse come up outside me and, um, you know, it was... I thought, oh, hopefully he can fight it on, but he's, he's fought, fought it out to the line, so... A, a, a special mention as well, he was putting on a performance pre-race, wasn't he? I was worried you were even going to get to the start. Yeah, I wouldn't say he was the easiest going down to the start, but um, it all, you know, it's all paid off in the long run, so no, absolutely right. Well, well done. This is massive. Congratulations. Thanks, Emily. Cheers.